Okay, so here are some off the top of my head um, symptoms of your pastor, your fake church pastor, being a narcissistic abuser. So if you go to church, point, or however you want to pronounce church, this video is for you, okay? So let me, um, this is not a laughing matter. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, red flag number one, the pastor is always yelling and angry and trying to manipulate and scare you behind the pulpit. Number two, the pastor manipulates and twists scripture in order to have, in order to serve himself and not God. Red flag number three. Um, he gets treated, he or even a, a woman pastor, which women pastors is not biblical, but um, a narcissistic self-appointed pastor, you know, male or female, they um they get treated like a king or a queen. You know, they get treated like royalty. What's was our number three? Okay, number four is um you're not allowed to question them. That's like cults, right? You're not allowed to question Something that they said that you know and they know is contrary to what scripture says. So, number five. What's number five? Let me think of number five. So, number five. They try to control other family. Like, they try to control the personal lives of their congregation's members. You know, like... The fake pastor will try to play God or play husband and make rules for your household when you're a married man with a wife. And if he, he want to try to police control and dictate how you run your household and make you feel bad, you know. And um, what other suggestions y'all have? I, I guess I gave five. I'm sorry, this is kind of unplanned and it's off the top of my head and I was kind of nervous, so excuse me.